All right, guys, it is a lovely 90 degree something day here in March. <clears throat> Out here in this undisclosed swamp. So, uh, sister said it is Friday, March 26th, 2021. So, I am already starting my tomato garden to take to New York. And, uh, so Sandy has asked for some gardening videos so this is the master gardener hambone little tail well guys <coughs> you know these two tomato plants now they came from different six packs these were you know i bought these already started in these little six packs when they were this tall a couple of weeks ago so here is this plant and here is the this poor little plant I planted uh, the same day right next to it. So what we're trying to figure out is how it, it's a mixed bag uh, <laughs> in my tomatoes. So what I'm trying to figure out is how to bring this little guy here back to health without turning him into just a mass of leaves the problem with tomatoes and 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 I've had it too is you need to be extremely careful with the nitrogen because if you put on high nitrogen fertilizer like chicken shit you know be the most common uh, high nitrogen fertilizer and you put that on tomatoes you know which you want to encourage the blooms and the berries uh, you're gonna get this beautiful lush dark green seven foot tall plant but you're not going to get any tomatoes on it uh, it is the other nutrients mainly the uh, <coughs> the phosphorus and i think in that case uh, bringing the bloom on but uh so you need to be very careful so what i could do of course is i could just give this little guy a a dose of chicken shit and probably in three days he would start looking like this but i would not actually be doing anything for the plant so what we're going to try and see what it looks like in three or four days we're going to go with the uh with the wood ashes i got the these ashes off my fire pit uh so mostly what this is is oak wood ash uh, it's all organic wood ash, and these are one-gallon pots. What I am going to do is we're just going to put a about a handful of wood ash onto the base of this little guy. So there shouldn't be much nitrogen, and I'm just going to just going to use my fingertips and work in the the wood ash you know just into the top of the soil and uh, I'll take our trusty watering can and just give it you know water oops let me get that a little more level so we just don't lose all the pour all the water out so uh, you know about a handful of if they're in these gallon pots and when they're this size uh, I'd probably put a handful of these on I'm guessing every couple of weeks and see what we're not necessarily aiming for a big bushy dark green plant see this plant might actually be too have too much nitrogen in it uh, we shall see but we're gonna we're gonna go through this whole tomato bed even with the good looking guy here and we're just gonna go through let's say taking uh, you know just taking a handful just take a handful of the ashes Don't be afraid to get your fingers in the dirt. That's what it's all about, getting out there and enjoying it. Well, you still can, and 
giving your little darlings a little dose of Mount St. Helens here, I guess. All right. And, uh, oh boy. And we're going to see what that brings. But all in all, we have some very happy little tomato plants. I'm going to uh, have the little camper completely stuffed with tomato plants. Heading to New York, I want to be eating tomatoes in upstate New York on Memorial Day weekend when most people are planting their tomatoes. I hope to be eating them, so uh, if you want some of Hambone's organic, homegrown, fresh tomatoes, you'll have to come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm this summer, and we will have some tomatoes in New York, baby. Bye, guys.